How's it going, everybody? Master Nerd MTG here, coming at you uh, with some content, finally. Um, I have here my current standard deck for you. It's a small little deck tech, just so I can post something, uh, start getting back out there. So, what I have for you today is Abzan Blue. Yeah, I know it's kind of an underplayed strategy, but it works for me. So, um, we're going to start off with creatures. And also, this is kind of budgety, just because I'm not that hardcore <laughs> in playing. So, we're going to start off with legendary creatures. And here I have uh, two Jace, Rin's Prodigy. Um, only two, I might even cut it down to one, because just the fact that he doesn't work too well in the deck. But he's good for um, just recasting like spells that we have in the deck. And he works somewhat well. So yeah, just two of him. And then I have two Nissa Vastwood Seer. She works extremely well, especially with um, one of the enchantments that I have in this deck as well. Just because of her, uh, her plus one, actually, is the only thing I really use with her. So yeah, two Nissa. And then we have two Tazgur Golden Fang. Um, just another way to get card advantage. Often I play him as a one drop four or five. So <laughs> yeah, he's he's really good. And then uh, for one more, or actually I have two more legendary creatures. I have one Dragon Lord Jamoka. Um, I play him just as a five seven flying life linker that makes it so my spells can't be countered. Um, I don't know, he, he also synergizes really well with the next card, which is Slimgar the Drifting Death. Uh, two dragons attacking, slight board wipe, makes for a better game for me. <laughs> they are kind of hard to cast, though. Alright, moving on to creatures. I have... <laughs> wouldn't be Abzan without him. I have four sea drinos. <laughs> and it's not Abzan unless you have a sea drino, let's be honest. So... Four of, of them. And then I have... Four of Woodland Wanderer. This card has been... Has really proved itself since the release of Zendikar. And has become one of the most resilient cards in Standard right now. I love him. And I couldn't make a deck without him. And then I have two Air of the Wilds. Um... These are in place of what are supposed to be um, Death Mist Raptors, because Death Mist Raptor is amazing, but I can't really afford, so this is kind of a budget option for me. And then we have two of Sylvan Advocate. Um, this card, because it's really easy to get seven lands out in this deck, honestly. With Nyssa and all sorts of stuff, it's really easy to get seven lands out. Or actually, six lands, my bad. To make him a two-drop, four, five. And then, of course, we have one of Den Protector. Just because he's good. Um, I really often, I Megamorph him for two, just to get him a three-two unblockable somewhat. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, now we're going to move on to the Planeswalkers. Uh, I have two, unless you count Jace and Nyssa, I have two Obnixilis. Um, like I said, just a real resilient card. Good removal and good card advantage. Alright, now we're going to move on to the non-creature spells. I have one of Oath of Jace, which works really well with Obnixilis and with Nyssa. Just because you can scry at the beginning of your upkeep and then... When you're done scrying, you can draw two cards. It's It works really well, just to be able to dig through a little bit. And then I have three of Stasis Snares. Um, just for more removal, this deck is actually has a pretty heavy removal kind of feel to it. It's like a mid-range removal. It's weird. <laughs> and then I have a four of Abzan Charm. One of the best removal pieces in Standard as of right now, except after in a couple weeks when Shadows rotates everything. Yep, four of that. 
And then I have a one of Ruinous Path, just because it's Ruinous Path. And then I have two of Murderous Cut, often a one-drop kill spell, works really well. Especially with, like, drawing and discarding with Jace and Delving and all that. <clears throat> and then, of course, I have a two of Treasure Cruise to finish off the non-creature spells. Just to be able to cast this for like three mana at the least is really good. Draw three cards really isn't bad. Uh, now we're going to move on to land base. Um, for the fetch lands, I only have three. I have Polluted Delta, Wooded Foothills, and Windswept Heath. This is really all you need. Just because they're kind of rotating out soon, so I don't want to have too many. They're really expensive. And then we're going to move on to the Tango lands. And for Tangos, which are the fetchable Zendikar lands, I have two of Canopy Vista and a one of Sunken Hollow. Really easy to fetch for with the uh, fetch lands. Good compatibility. Um, and as for the dual lands from Oath, the common ones, I have a Simmeridge Boneyard and Meandering River. Just for more splashing colors. And then, uh, for the Trilands, I have two of Sandstep Citadel and one Opulent Palace, just to be able to splash for all the colors we need. Uh, for Painlands, I have one Land of Water Royce and two Caves of Quilos. One Tranquil Cove, one Jungle Hollow. And as for Manlands, we have two Lumbering Falls and one Shambling Vent. For basics, not too not too crazy. Just one one swamp, two forests, and two islands. Uh, yeah, you're splashing for the white that you need the entire time. Um so that's my deck. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and do whatever if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Peace.